Well, dots. I want to see what it said when I answered the question. Yeah, I gotta scroll up to it. Where, where did it go? Alright, it's gonna be a little further than that. It would be a line that she didn't say. Or, or is it gone? Where did it go? Oh wait, no, it was just something she said. Even when I'm practically throwing myself at you, ready to accept your love. That's what she asked me. Okay, let's go home. I don't care anymore. Now all I want to do is take a cold shower and lay in my fucking bed forever. I'm home. Stomp, 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 stomp. What the? Whee! Crash. Mm. She, she just gave me a tackle hug. I fell onto the ground on my butt. Whoa, hey, Sayori. You seem cheerful today. Did something good happen? <laughs> I'm just so happy to see you. Uh, I'm happy to see you too. Oh, Sayori, you're my salvation. <laughs> no, hold it together. Don't you dare cry now. I held her up, or help her up. <laughs> so, do you feel better now? What? What do you mean by that? I'm perfectly fine. Shh. She just held up a finger and pressed it lightly on my lips. It's okay, Holly. We don't have to continue the tough hero act. I know that you're not okay. I... No use hiding it, dude. She saw everything from the window while she was cleaning her room yesterday. What? Sorry, you saw all that? That's true. I saw you suddenly appearing with a bright flash in front of the house. Then you started stomping on the ground looking very angry and then you started to cry. Something bad happened at school, right? And the way you acted yesterday was funny, but also very sad. I know you would never tell me the truth, and I know that it would only make it harder on you if I kept asking, so I stopped asking. But I can't stand seeing you like this. So I thought I could cheer you up with a hug. I'm sorry that I got a bit too excited. Did the fall hurt? Sayori. Uh, I hug her again. Sayori. Thank you. I sobbed into her shoulders. The tears, I try to stop them, but I can't. I, my heart aches. I want to be embraced. She hugs me back gently. She she pats me on the head. Josh, Josh, it's okay. Whatever happened at school, you can tell me all about it later. Right now, just relax and forget about it for a while. And let me spoil you. <laughs> Sorry. Cough, sniff. Ah. Ah, I hope this lasts forever. I know I can't hug her forever, but just let me enjoy this. Hi, player. Welcome home. Is that Sayori saying that? Okay, it is. Don't worry, it's me, Sayori. <laughs> He's crying on my chest so hard that he didn't even see me giving you this message. Just let us stay for a while like this, okay? He needs his rest and you do too. Take a quick break, rest your eyes, and come back after a few minutes. You're not my dad or Nintendo. Thank you, player. Well, well, dots. Slowly we let each other go. Say, R.E.I., God, this is embarrassing. I just showed you a weak side of mine. Some manly hero I am, right? Oh, you're a loser. It's okay. Crying and relying on me doesn't make you weak, Hallie. Even if you are a manly hero, that doesn't mean you can just bottle up your troubles like that. Ow. She, she just reached for my face and pinched my cheeks with both of her petite hands. Oh, no, it's my turn to be mad. You're too kind, and also sometimes too stupid. How can I support you if you don't tell me what's wrong? Even if you are the hero, who's gonna save all of us? No. It doesn't matter who you are or what you are, it's 100% okay for you to show and tell people how you feel. You should especially tell me everything and let me fan for you. That's what lovers are for, right? My heart hurts. I wanted to protect her, but I didn't realize that I'm pushing her away. I'm sorry. Mm, I forgive you. Next time you'll hide your feelings from me again, no dinner for you! Eat no dinner? That threat is somehow scarier than Lucifer's voice or Monica's threats! Yes, ma'am, I won't do it again! <laughs> Good answer! Though who wants dinner? Today we're having cream stew! Cream stew, huh? I can already. <laughs> Wait, no, that's not the smell of cream stew! <laughs> oh no! Siri and I ran towards the boiling pot on top of the burning stove! Within the pot is a brownish substance that looks like curry, but smells of something more reminiscent of burnt plastic. Sayori. No, I messed up again. Sorry, Holly, it looks like we aren't going to have dinner after all. I didn't do it on purpose. Please believe me. I was really just joking, but I told you that if we wouldn't have dinner. I... Yeah. <laughs> Sally. Oh, Minnie, how could you laugh at a time like this? I have not a question. 
Oh boy. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I can't not laugh at this. I feel like a weight had just been lifted from my shoulders. Ha, <laughs> ah, you're right. I've been holding back because I thought I should be the hero and all. And I don't want to burden you with my problems, considering that you still have your rain clouds. Oh, Howie. You're so silly. It's okay to let me protect you sometimes, you know? You have protected me from my rain clouds, and I shall do the same to you. But let's protect each other from now on, okay? Yeah, thanks, Sayori. I... Thur clunk. Yeah! Whoa! All of a sudden, something materialized on top of the dining table, just like yesterday. What? Wah! It's two bowls of rice topped with fried pork. Well, wait, I thought she successfully cooked dinner yesterday. Yatta! Katsudon! Thank you, Mr. Daisy Tadakimasu! Well, thanks again, Daisy Tadakimasu. We both sit down and enjoy our dinner. The pot of cursed substance... Or, the pot... Yeah, the pot of cursed substance mysteriously disappeared again. Wish I have a day off just to teach Sayori how to cook. So, oh, Howie, what really happened at school yesterday and today as well? Tell me all about it. So, too much happened. Let's start from yesterday. After I walked out of the house, walked past the inside of the house, I was suddenly teleported into the club room. I didn't even get to start class. It's as if time sped up, or my time walking to school to after class got skipped somehow. Huh, that is weird. For me, time didn't speed up at all. After you left, I took the whole morning learning how to use a vacuum cleaner. Um. Oh god. I'm pretty sure it is one C, two Qs, but it's definitely not two Cs. <laughs> no, you're thinking about that time I got scared by the vacuum cleaner. Oh, see, so you spelled it right there. Cleaner, well, you're teaching me how to use it to clean my room, aren't you? It's even not a question. Sorry, sorry. Did you learn how to do it afterwards? Yeah, can't you feel that the floor is less dusty than before? Now you mention it, or now that you mention it, the air does feel clearer here. Also, you wouldn't use a vacuum on a hard floor. That's not that's not a good idea. It just shoots the dirt out the back of the vacuum. Right, I knew I could do it. <laughs> Feeling proud just for learning how to use the vacuum cleaner. Too cute. So what happened afterwards? Well, the world glitched pretty badly. So bad it affected Yuri and Natsuki. I tried to talk to them, but it didn't work out too well. Or tall well. Need another old air. Another uh, tall well. Oh. Also, I hate to tell you this, but both Natsuki and Yuri got corrupted by Monica. Yuri turned psycho. Turns out she has a bad side to her, an ugly side. A side that makes her hurt herself. And Monica's using that, right? Y you knew? I remembered every playthrough, remember? I was even the club president, which means I knew everything about the game, too. I'm surprised you don't remember it until like the, or that's like the premise of the mod. We both stayed silently, or no, silent, for about four seconds. And Natsuki, Monica's not turning her into a bad person, but Natsuki, did you know that her family's not that good of a family? Wait, you mean about her dad? I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that, that her dad starves and abuses her. Sayori, she trembled. Oh no. Her voice barely whispered. It, it was part of her, or part of her backstory, I mean, love in there. Designs to, designs to influence the player's choice. She, she does not deserve this. Tears collected in her eyes. Shit, I really hate to be the bearer of bad news. And because the world's glitching, she's also glitching. She tried to hide what her dad did to her and almost fainted due to hunger. No way! Not skinny. I'm sorry. What? For not being able to save them. Today the glitches got worse. Yuri's already a yandere and the club is falling apart. Monica won't stop corrupting the club and there's nothing I can do to stop her. So, I'm sorry for not being able to do anything. No, it's not your fault. You try your best, and maybe now's not the right time. Mr. Dave did tell you that you can save them at the right moment when the chance is given to you, right? Maybe today's not it. Hmm. I, I miss them. Monica did all this just to get a player to like her. She, I, I can't. I hold her hand and gently pat her back. She in turn interlaces her fingers with mine. Interlaces her fingers with mine. We both share the pain together. Our tears drop into our respective bowls of half-finished katsudon. Heh, <laughs> didn't you say you're gonna spoil me? <laughs> I can't help it, you meanie. We tighten our grip as if we are terrified of the possibility of each other disappearing into mist should we let go of each other. We move closer together, our shoulders touch. We, within this time of sadness, try to gain comfort from each other's presence. We then continue to eat the katsudon in silence. Clunk. Gochisasa. Gochisasa. 
We stood up and walked to the sink to wash our dishes. Hey, Sayori. Yes? I flicked some water to her face. Gah! <laughs> gotcha! Mom, take this! She splashed water onto my shirt. Why, you? <laughs> yes, this is the way you cheer someone up. By initiating a messy water fight like children. <laughs> hey, if it works, it works. We splashed at each other for a few minutes. Eventually, we did get the dishes done. Ha! <laughs> We're both soaked! Yeah, let's go clean up. Meet me at my room afterwards, okay? Okay! We both walk upstairs and enter our respective rooms to clean up. And no, we are not gonna shower together and that thought totally had never crossed my mind. Shut up! You have separate bathrooms anyway. Oh geez, why didn't you disconnect this time? No, I am not gonna narrate how I took off my wet clothes, dropped my pants, became stark naked and sat down in my bathtub contemplating my body image. In fact, I don't even know how I look like. Whenever I look into the mirror, I can only see vague features. Two eyes, two ears, a nose, a mouth, black hair, skinny body, that's it. Huh, wonder how do I look to Sayori. I uh, wonder how I look to Sayori. You don't actually need to do it all. Or the like. I mean, she can see me, that's for sure, but... Am I attractive? Or just plain? Or downright ugly? I mean, she agreed to date me, so I don't think I'm downright hideous, right? Yuri also mentioned how attractive I am, but I'm just gonna take her obviously biased opinion with a grain of salt. I do hope I'm at least easy to look at. Guess that's a question for another day. Oh cool, my clothes are here. Let me dry myself off first. Okay, all freshened up, back to my room. Hmm? Oh, she's already here. Hey, Sayori. Oh, Howie and Peter! Shall we start today's poem? Yeah! I take out a pun and a piece of paper and sit in front of my desk. Sayori sits on my bed, hugging my pillow. Cute! Ahem, <laughs> focus on the poem. Hmm, what should I write today? Maybe we can write about us. Howie, that's... What? That's embarrassing. You joked about being my wife, and now you're getting embarrassed over writing a poem about our love story. Oh, hold on a second. Eh. Embraced. I'm pretty sure there's... Yeah, your name. I, th I think this one was right. I can't remember which one. There Someone doing a let's play right now. But one of these is wrong. I'm pretty sure there's only one R and two S's. But you gotta check them. Something's wrong here. I'm not against it. I just need something to remind me that this is all real, you know? Kind of like... Something to remind you I am here when you're done. Mm -hmm. It's a time. We both blushed at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Hey, check out what I learned from... Er, learned from the Mr. Days. Yeah, Edie. What? Hello. Whoa. How did you do that? You said you just need to practice thinking loudly. Thinking loudly, huh? I mean, to the player, it's just a pop-up, but for me, it actually sounds like you talking in my head. Yes! Okay, I'll try it later in the meantime. Hmm. Oh, and actually, uh, this one can be one word. You can combine those two. <laughs> hmm. I stand upon an unknown clearing. Colors shining, fading, tearing. I know grass grows and birds fly, but here grass glows and birds cry. What? Uh -huh. The birds cried and cried. They cried for help, they conveyed their pain. Yet I can only stand and listen. Unable to move, I struggle in vain. Oh. Hmm, where do I go from here? You want to try continuing this, Sayori? Um, a storm brewing, the wind blowing, the noise of chaos on earth thundering. Suddenly I hear a lone wolf howling, piercing through my desperate screaming. Wow. Yet I know all is not lost. A place of refuge and warmth exists. My pain and tears are its key and cost. It shall open for me, as long as I persist. That's... that's brilliant! <laughs> Never underestimate the former Vice President of the Literature Club! Oh boy, this is gonna knock their socks off. It can also show Monica how strong we are. Yeah, shame on her for not believing that you exist. Well, I'm supposed to hide from her anyway, but yeah. Siori slowly stood up from her chair and stretched her arms upward. <sighs> oh wow, it's 12 o'clock again. We really should be in bed by now. Yeah, I'm going back to my room. Uh, tell me if you need anything, okay? Thanks, you too. Good night, Sayori. <laughs> Good night, Allie. Good night, player. With a skip and a hop, she went out of my room, humming a light-hearted tune. I, I know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Yuri's gonna stab herself with her knife. It doesn't matter what we choose. We reject her, she dies. We accept her, she dies as well. What can we do in this lose-lose situation? Player, I, I'm scared. I just hope we have a way out of this. Days, if you can hear me, I, I need help. I'll even take Lucifer's help, even if it's a bad idea. I don't know what to do anymore. If you're going to show, 
Now would be a good time. Well, the answer is you can't do anything because the script. I wish we could just skip class tomorrow, but at this point, I can't afford to chicken out. For Yuri, for Natsuki, and even for not, or for Monica's sake. And for most importantly, for Sayori's sake. Good night, player. Ugh, my eyelids. Plop. Snore. Dots, is this another dream? No, please, I'm so tired. Let me rest. I, I'm back in heaven? Does that mean... It has been a while, Hallie. Merkava! I censored them! <laughs> so we don't have to... Uh, 18 plus these episodes anymore. Welcome back to my realm. Once again, I shall aid you in your quest of liberation. However, I must remind you that your previous choice to utilize the dagger is an unwise error. Remember, Lucifer's words are not to be trusted. His promise of freedom will only end in creating a ruined world of suffering. I shall forgive your mishap this once, but please bear in mind that should you follow his directions once more, I may have to utilize more un unpleasant methods to correct you from the wrong path. Uh, unpleasant methods? I'm gonna kill you. I really don't want to know what he meant by that. His tone is calm, but I can sense that he's not happy with our choices. His anger feels like a very controlled flame under a cold pan. He's still giving us a chance. Please understand that I am doing this for your benefit. I only wish to help. Nothing more, nothing less. Now, let us proceed with the knighting. Wait, what? Knight? Wait, you mean you're gonna make me into a... Indeed, Helly. You shall be dubbed a holy knight, and you shall acquire the powers necessary to liberate dear Yuri. Well, I mean, it sounds cool and all, but why? As you may know, Yuri's death have become a predestined event due to Monica's corruption. Has became. Or no, has become, actually, is how it would be. The script had recognized her suicide as a plot point, and your choice to either accept or reject her love cannot change the outcome. Yes, Monica told me that. But what does me becoming a holy knight have anything to do with this? Monica. Monica? Due to your erroneous decision to stab Monica with Lucifer's dagger, she has been stained by the power of chaos. I... what? Her corruption of Yuri didn't end at increasing the darkest qualities of her soul. Due to the minute quantities of chaos worming their way into the corruption process, Yuri will not only end her own life in this narrative loop, she may turn into a demon as a result. A demon? Like the ones from hell? From the world in which I originate, the definition of the term demon may be more akin to monster in your knowledge. The power of chaos has corrupted Yuri. If chaos weren't a part of the equation, you could have easily prevented Yuri's death by calling upon our lord after stopping her suicide attempt by force. By force? If the circumstances weren't so, my advice for you would only be for you to deliver a direct punch upon her facial region. Bruh. You serious? Indeed I am. The shock delivered by the punch would have made her drop her knife which will be then promptly followed by you, providing her your warmest, tightest embrace. Spoilers for when we do the good ending, bruh! She will be distracted by this act. Her emotions run rampant. Her body freezes as she ponders how to react. This should provide you ample time to call upon Lord Ancient of Days and ask him for his divine skill of salvation. Once the Lord hath healed her mind, she shall return to her original self, flawed but harmless, and free from negative influence. But at this moment, we are unable to proceed with this plan, for the moment you reject her love and prevent her death. She shall embrace the chaos and demonic potential inside her heart, transforming her into a demon as a result. Once she turns into a demon, the power of chaos within her will corrupt the game's files. Reality shall fall apart, and everything within this unfinished world will perish. This has turned into a difficult situation. Fret not, Halley. To counter this problem, all that is required is for me to bestow upon you my own holy powers. You shall use this power to purify her in battle. Battle? What? I thought I'm in a dating sim, not an RPG. This is a necessary step to liberate her. You must defeat her after she transforms into demon kind. Wait, seriously? Now, without further ado... 
I hereby dub thee Holy Knight Harry. In the Lord's name I bestow upon you the blessings of light. Let the power of light enter. Allow the Lord's grace to embrace you. With the light of the Lord, eradicate all which is evil and chaotic. Arise and advance in the Lord's name. I don't feel any different. I shall now train you to use your powers. A moment, please. Summoning protocol initiated. Come, O oh demon who plagues the land of humans. Uh, this sounds like we're going to have a tutorial battle scenario, and I'm kind of at the end of this session. So I guess we'll pick up where there's something exciting next time. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll catch you next time with more a Savior's Meta. Hope to see you then. Bye bye